Meanwhile, in Santa Clara County, more than 20,000 students in San Jose's East Side Union High School District headed back to campus for in-person learning today amid the rise in COVID cases. KPI X5 reporter Devin Feely shows us parents are concerned about whether or not the district's safety precautions will really be enough to prevent an outbreak. Devin? Yeah, imagine the impossible choices that parents and students are facing at this point. They're trying to put everything on the scales, weigh their options, and figure out what's in the best interest of their children's health and their education, and what do they do if those aren't the same thing. Just seeing a lot of new people kind of gave me anxiety. Victoria Gomez's concerns about her health and safety as she returns to class aren't just academic. Her mom has a pre-existing condition. My mom is an at-risk person. So I feel like kind of uncomfortable. The Eastside Union School District has put a number of safety measures in place. They've installed advanced filtration systems at all of their high schools. Students and staff are required to wear masks at all times indoors. And teachers are required to either provide proof of vaccination or test weekly. Superintendent Glenn Vandersee says if parents and students still aren't comfortable coming back to campus, they can try independent study. It is very much what its name is, is an independent study program uh, where the large part of the work is done um, uh, independently um, and so families and students going into that um, need to know that there is that is a difference after a year and a half of distance learning most parents decided to send their children back to school in person despite their lingering concerns well, I felt bad because they they gave her the choice to go back at the end of eighth grade and I, I wasn't I said no way no way and so I felt bad to tell her no again. All of the students in Eastside Union are old enough to get vaccinated, but the school system isn't requiring it or tracking how many are. Vaccinated students say they feel like they have an extra layer of protection. Like the vaccination gives me like a sense of like comfort that like maybe I'm not gonna get as sick as I would if other people weren't vaccinated. So Devin, what's the difference between online learning and independent study? Yeah, there is a big difference and an, and an important distinction between the two. Last year for online learning, teachers were trying to give children the classroom experience just at home on their computer or on their tablet. Now, independent study is very different. It's like giving the child the material, handing them a textbook, and then they largely have to figure it out on their own. No one claims that the quality of in-person learning versus independent study is at all comparable. That's probably why there's fairly limited interest so far in this school system, just 163 families. All right, all right Devin, thank you.